Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to the YouTube channel. And in this video, we will have a look at one of the new features in DaVinci Resolve 16, the public beta number one. It is just one of the features that Blackmagic have just added. It is the ability to make DaVinci Resolve upload your videos directly to YouTube Vimeo or Vimeo. And that is a very neat feature. So let's figure out how that works inside of DaVinci Resolve. Let's have a look. Come. Okay, so back in Resolve here, uh, I have done a super small edit. Uh, it's like very, 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 slow, very short, 26 seconds. And one of the new features in DaVinci Resolve is, of course, the ability to upload into YouTube. And uh, how do you actually do that? So let's try and figure that out. So let's uh, set, do a setup here. We have to go to the Resolve. Uh, and then go to the DaVinci Resolve and let's go to Preferences and in Preferences we need to go to Internet Accounts and here we have, uh, you can sign in to YouTube or Vimeo or to Frame, Frame IO. I don't use that so I'm not going to bother with that. But let's uh, set up the YouTube account. So let's just push here and it will go in and I have to write my email address here. that and I'll go next and then I just did uh, do that on the phone and yes I will allow that okay and that's already done okay so let's go to the deliver page and in the deliver page, we have our the edit here. And I want to give it this a name. YouTube test render. And then I will, of course, give this a location. And I just want to put that on my desktop, of course. So I have a copy of it. Okay, and I want to make it a YouTube clip, I think. So if you just tap YouTube, uh -huh. upload directly to YouTube, yes. Uh, let's see, the, it should be like HD and it should quick time. Well, it could be MP4, uh, native, main. Private, okay, and I want this, of course, to be a private upload. So that should be around it. We'll see if it works. Um, I'll add this to my queue. And then I'll simply push the render button and let that render. I think this is a pretty neat feature because you could do multiple videos and just put them into the render queue and then let them render and then upload them to YouTube so you don't have to wait actually for anything. That means you can, instead of <laughs> editing, waiting for the render and then do a, a upload, you can actually go to bed and get some sleep done and, um, and then you can continue uh, to changing all the data you want on YouTube the next day. Pretty darn awesome, I think. We'll see if it works because this video will, of course, be on YouTube. So um, if it works, hopefully it works. So um, let's have a look at it, shall we? Super awesome. And then, of course, now it will just start to upload here and it will just upload to YouTube. So we, we better go and check it out in a, in a sec here. OK, and now it's uploaded. So let's just jump into YouTube and see if it's there. And the video is right here, the test render, we'll have a click on it, let's just enlarge the screen here, and uh, let's have a look at the video. Okay, that seems to work just fine. So that is a super nice feature to have inside of DaVinci Resolve. I think this is a super helpful if you are doing YouTube videos, and you're doing a lot of them. So 
upload the things, finish up what you need to finish in YouTube the next day after sleeping. I love this feature already. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing. Bye.